Uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple application and uh, play sound on button click. This is our uh, activity main layout. Uh, before we start coding uh, let me show you um, official Android documentation for a media player class which we'll be using in this video. Uh, media player class can be used to control playbacks uh, of audio video files and streams. Uh, we have also a few uh, important topics here, permissions, state diagram and uh, callbacks. First let's check permissions. Uh, we have two permissions for this, uh, wake clock and internet. Uh, we won't be using any of those, but remember if you wish to use uh, network based content, that uh, then you are going to need uh, internet permission for that. Uh, next, uh, let's check uh, state diagram. This is a very important part of uh, media player class. Uh, it might seem complicated, but uh, actually it's uh, pretty simple. Um, it starts uh, with the reset method, and uh, uh, with that method uh, the object is in idle state. After that, the uh, object is initialized, and with method prepare, uh, the object is prepared. Uh, you can also use unprepared listener to get the call back uh, when it's prepared. Uh, after that you, we have a start method and uh, after that uh, we can pause or stop our object. And at the end we have an uh, uncompletion listener which we'll be using in tutorial as well to register when uh, the sound is complete. As you uh, can see here it says when a media player object is created using new or uh, re reset is called is uh, in the idle state and after release it's called it is uh, in the end of the state between those two states is the life cycle of media player object uh, and at the end let's check uh, the callbacks we don't have many of them but uh, in this tutorial we're going to use just the two of them uh, on prepare listener and uh, on completion listener just the two of them And now let's get back to our Android Studio. Uh, switch to main activity. And as you can see we have already declared uh, a button. And uh, now we're going to create media player object. And uh, one uh, on click method. I, f I have already uh, declared this uh, play sound. Uh, on our uh, XML file, as you see here, and now uh, start by typing uh, mp equals to media player dot create. As a parameter, we need the context and the sound file. Uh, I will choose from the raw folder. If you don't have a raw folder, then uh, be sure to create one. Uh, you can create that by uh, right click on the resource directory and uh, new and uh, android resource directory. After that, the windows will prompt and you choose from the resource type uh, raw and just click OK. I have already created so I won't be repeating that step. Anyway, uh, now we are going to uh, add on prepare listener and inside this listener we're going to start uh, the media player object and uh, next we're going to declare um, on completion listener and after the after it is completed uh, we're going to release the resources it's a good practice to do that and um, that's pretty much it. We have uh, created this application successfully. Uh, if you wish to check more details about Media Player Class, you can uh, again read the uh, Android official official Android documentation for Media Player Class. I will add the link in the description. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and see you in the next one.